Hello and welcome to another tutorial about the Mice and Torbens District account. In previous tutorials we have shown how to create an account and how to change the address on your account. In this tutorial we are going to show how to use the report it forms. For this tutorial I'm going to go down to the My Street widget and select the report and abandoned vehicle button. This will take me through to the report and abandoned vehicle form. Here we'll be presented with a number of questions. So, has the vehicle been abandoned for more than three weeks? Yes. Is the vehicle on private land? Yes. Is the vehicle blocking access? Yes. And is the vehicle taxed and MOT'd? <coughs> you can find this out by clicking on this link here, which will go to the Vehicle Inquiry Service Organisation. Here you can type in the registration number of the vehicle and it will show you whether or not it has been taxed or MOT'd. Click yes. This next button will illuminate. If for example the vehicle had not been abandoned for more than three weeks and I had selected no, this banner will appear telling me to report it to the non-emergency police as it has not been abandoned long enough for the council to be involved. For the purpose of this tutorial I'll click yes and proceed on to the next stage. Here we can use one of the following options so for example I can type in a postcode select search and click the drop down arrow this will bring up a list of all of the addresses under that postcode and you can select the one you would like. Alternatively you can search via a street name. This works in a similar fashion. Select the drop down arrow and select the address that you would like. Alternatively to this, and perhaps easier for reporting an abandoned vehicle, is the pin drop on the map. Simply scroll to wherever the abandoned vehicle may be, click to drop the pin and click next. Here we can provide some extra details about the vehicle to the team. So we can provide the registration number, the color of the vehicle, the make and model, its condition. Now if I were to click click good condition nothing would appear on the right hand side here if I were to click poor condition this box here appears this helps the team understand more about the vehicle when did we first notice the problem the 18th of January and click submit at this point we have the option to upload some more evidence if you do not have any evidence but you would like to submit some later, click the add evidence later box. However, if you have evidence at the moment, click upload files. Here we can select the evidence by clicking on it and selecting open. When this done button illuminates, that means that the upload file has been complete. Click done and if you're satisfied that, that is the correct file you can click finish if you're not satisfied that that's the correct file you can click on this icon here which will delete whatever file you have uploaded however I'm confident that this is the correct file and I can click finish this will now take me to the my activity page in the portal this will show you all of the information that you've just inputted so it will show the registration, the colour, make and model, what condition the vehicle is in and what you have inputted about that condition when you first noticed that the vehicle was abandoned and it will also provide you with a case number which you can report back to the officer. If I go into my emails I should have received an email to show me that the case has been submitted which is here. This will say that I should receive a response, a response within a certain amount of working days depending on the criteria which I've inserted and depending on which form this is. 
Now that I've completed the form, I can click my home page and continue with any other services that I would like to use. Thank you very much for using the St Albans portal.